Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch. The old Made in China t-shirt's back on. Has it really been three months since I last made a top 10 AliExpress video? It doesn't seem like that at all. And yet here we are, sale time has come round again. Now if you, like me, enjoy adding the occasional Chinese special to your collection, there really is no better time to do it than when Ali is having a sale. Now I monitor the prices all year round and this time, during this sale, I think some of the prices are sharper than I have ever seen them. This the L'Oreal, my favourite budget dive watch, is under 60 US dollars. That's the cheapest I've seen it. It's certainly about $10 cheaper than it was when I bought it at the end of last year. Some of the other prices are fantastic. So I'll leave links to all 10 of these in the description of the video in the order that I show them. And if I've reviewed the watch, which I think I've reviewed about 6 out of the 10, I'll pop a link up in the top left of the screen. You can watch the individual review video if you're interested. Now to be clear, I'm an AliExpress affiliate. If you click on one of these links and buy something from Ali, they pay me a small commission. You don't pay any more for the product, just so that we're clear. All right, as usual, I've got a little bit excited and I bought two new watches for me. I'm gonna start the roundup with one of those. Starting with this full-sized sterile Type A Flieger by Corgio. It's worth noting that all of these watches will be shipped from China. So you're gonna be waiting two, maybe three, up to four weeks for them to deliver. And if you do have an issue, it's not as easy as going back to your local shopping mall with a watch. But when prices are this good, I think it's worthwhile. So I'm recording this one a little bit in advance. By the time you watch the video, the sale will now be live and I will have bought one of these. Full-sized 44 mil, I found with Pilot's watches, bigger is better. So 44 mil, 22 mil lug width by Corgio. First one of these I've encountered. And really, this is what I'm interested in. This is a hand-wind Seagull ST36 movement. It's basically a clone of the ETA Unitas 6497. Small seconds there at the nine o'clock, looks good. There's even a little bit of loom on this one. Sapphire crystal as well. I think it's a handsome looking watch. I don't have one of these in my collection at the moment. and for $63 on Sapphire. I think those movements are great to look at through the back of the cases. There is a PVD version here, but I've just gone for the, the plain old stainless steel. Only 30 meters of water resistance, but that's hardly an issue with a pilot's watch. You're not really meant to get them wet. Any watch that has sapphire crystal and a bit of loom, I think they're good, clean looking designs. You can't be a, a type A flieger. Certainly not for 63 bucks, which is why this is the first one that I've bought for myself this week. My next choice is this San Martin. Now I bought this one last time. I'll pop in a couple of shots. I'm gonna make the video this week. It is gorgeous and the prices have dropped. This is the one I bought at the last sale. I paid $208. They've dropped it down to 185 on the rubber strap. They've introduced new colorways and they've introduced a bracelet. This is the one that I'll be going for at $203. Not necessarily priced like a Chinese special, but it's a great watch. Seiko NH35 movement. It is a gorgeous piece of domed sapphire crystal on the dial. I tested it earlier on just to be sure. Ceramic bezel insert and a decent bunch of loom on the dial as well. Nice case back there with the old classic diver's helmet and crossed anchors. I'll show you it next to the SLA 017, 40 mil, so it's not the smaller 62 mass, 38 millimeters. It's a full size watch, it's gorgeous, and it's almost indistinguishable from the SLA 017. I've been dragging my heels getting this video up, but I promise I'll have it to you later this week. They also do them in blue, they do them in green. You can get it on a sterile dial if you don't want San Martin. Personally, I went for the San Martin one because you know I'm happy with a brand rather than no brand on the dial in most cases. 200 bucks on a bracelet, I think this would give any rival diver at around that price point a decent run for its money on specs and looks. It's a gorgeous looking watch, highly recommended. Now the second one I bought for myself this time around is this Pagani Designs Rolex Daytona homage at $67.49. Now I've looked at a couple of Paganis on the channel in the past, indeed there'll be another one appearing in this roundup. The quality is there, the specs are there, and this one is no exception. Sapphire crystal covering that dial, that's a ceramic bezel insert, it's 40 mil with 20 mil lug width, exactly the same as the Daytona. 
but this one features a Seiko VK63 mecha quartz movement. Now that means it's not only going to be super accurate, but it's going to be super reliable. I wouldn't recommend you to pick up any auto chrono at this price, but I would wholeheartedly recommend a Seiko mecha quartz. The great movements, as you can see there, mecha quartz VK63 synthetic sapphire. Only 30 meters water resistance again, so you're not going to get this one particularly wet, but small price to pay, I think, $67.50. I'm very much looking forward to seeing how this one gets on when it arrives. All right, next up at number four, it's a bit of a two for one deal, both from the Mercure store, 99.2% feedback, so you can buy with relative confidence. I would always be looking at the feedback score of a particular shop to see if you can trust that they will deliver the product on time and in good shape. Seagull 1963 with Sapphire Crystal for $183. Now that is approximately half of the price that Long Island watches have got this very same watch for at the moment. Now, I love the Seagull 1963. It is a super kitsch little watch, very, very beautiful applied indices, those lovely little blue hands, and it features a Seagull ST1901 column wheel manual wine chronograph with a display case back. You just don't see many manual wine chronos at the price. This is the only one I'd be recommending to you. Now, I bought the 38 mil, it's a 38 mil. I bought the one on acrylic a couple of years ago, but I sold it because I was a little bit paranoid about scratching the acrylic. Sapphire crystal on this one, you don't get the super dome, but you don't get the paranoia that comes with a piece of acrylic. $183 for a classic, the classic Chinese watch. I think this is probably the most iconic Chinese watch you can buy. Great price, highly recommend it again. Or if you do want to go for something that has the same case shape, the same column wheel chronograph movement, but it does have that domed acrylic crystal, this one looks pretty good to me. Flyover Darkness FOD, two different styles, either a black one there, I'd probably go for this one myself with those gorgeous big droplets of loom and those vintage style Arabics. There's also a panda dial if you prefer. Now both of these seem to have the upgraded ST1901 with swan neck regulator. You can just see that there, meaning it's even easier to adjust if this one isn't accurate enough for you. I got about plus seven a day out of my Seagull, so no problems there with the one I had. Beautiful little watches, good time to buy, 207 bucks, a decent saving. Okay, on to a couple of old favourites. This one, the L'Oreal that I showed you in the intro, definitely the favourite budget diver of mine. 5866 for an automatic diver with sapphire crystal, solid bracelet, solid end links, and I think it's a good looking little watch as well. I bought the green one, there's blue ones, there's black ones if you want to go pretty straight laced. There's a Kermit style, there's a blue and black, there's a kind of Coke one, there's a PVD one, there's a whole bunch of different colourways, and I think they're solid watches. The movement in these is a Seagull S. ST16. It hacks, it hand winds, roughly about 38 hour power reserve, and mine has been running like a sweetie. That's mine on the time grapher, running within 10 seconds a day. You can't really knock back that type of accuracy from a watch that's costing less than $60. Now, I made a couple of slight modifications to mine, so it's certainly a watch you can tinker with if that is your inclination. I put a different bezel insert with a loom pip, and I've also upgraded the clasp to a milled clasp. I also bought that one on AliExpress for about $6. Sapphire Crystal really is the big boon as far as I'm concerned with this one. You can rattle this one around and you won't scratch it. If you want a day-date complication, they do the same watch but with a Seagull day-date movement instead. No Cyclops on it, 63 bucks. Definitely my favourite budget diver, my favourite budget subby homage. I take one of these over an Invicta all day, every day. Two more old favourites, both by Cadison. These ones coming from the Cadison official store, again with a, a good solid feedback rating. The Cadison C1032, I mention this one pretty much every time I make one of these videos. It's a great watch, especially for less than 50 bucks, and it looks like they're chucking in an extra strap as well. I've got one of the silver dial ones and one of the black dial ones in my personal collection. Here's my two here. I've got the black one on the standard bracelet and I put the silver dial one on a vintage style strap. I do think they suit that. It's a lovely kind of clean retro design there with those Dauphine hands applied indices. Now in the back of this one, that is a Seiko NH36 hacking and hand winding automatic movement. You would be struggling to get a Seiko with one of these in it for less than about 150 US dollars. Covering the dial there, that is a piece of sapphire crystal. I've tested it myself. Really, really solid little watch. 
The only negative is that it is very shiny. The bracelet is all high polished. That's why I like to wear them on straps occasionally as well. It makes them slightly less glary. But if you like high polish, highly recommended, 50 bucks. They'll be in every roundup just about that I make, I'd imagine, at these prices. Similarly, the Carison Diamond, again from the same official store. Look at that saving down from $146.99 to $104.99. Really, the big boon in this one is that. It's a Miyota 9015 automatic movement. Now, these are made in Japan. They're 24 joule, hacking and hand winding, and they're high beat. They're four hertz automatics. You get that beautiful, smooth sweep of the second hand, and it's a nice movement to look at. Piece of dome sapphire crystal on there. It is just a gorgeous watch for the money. Not everyone is going to fancy that little diamond crumb at the 12 o'clock index. In reality, I barely noticed it with mine. Now I had the white dial one here with the kind of parchment dial. It's a little bit off white with that blued hand. If you've got a slightly darker skin tone, I'd be going for one of these gold ones or the rose gold ones. Great watches. To be honest, they're good value at 150 bucks. At 105, it's a bit of a no-brainer if you're looking for an everyday slash dressy Chinese special. All right, next up, it's another Submariner homage and it's another by Pagani Designs. Now, I've had this one in the house for a while. Again, I've been dragging my heels to review it. $59. Now, if a 40 mil watch is too small for you, this is the one to go for. It's about 42, 43 mil in diameter. So think Steinhardt Ocean 142. It's that size and it's the maxi case as well. So it's a much bigger watch. There it is sitting on my wrist. Much bigger watch than these 40 mils like the L'Oreal. And it is a spec monster. That is a ceramic bezel insert sunburst dial applied indices and that is a Miyota 8215 Japanese made automatic movement in the back of it. These hand wind but they don't hack but really that isn't much of an issue at $59. Now the bracelet on this one as you can see there really nice. They kind of rip off the Rolex glide lock. It doesn't have a full glide lock adjustment, but it does have the easy link flip flop. So there is a bit of an on the fly adjustment from this bracelet. Finishing, machining, tolerances, no rattling from those lugs. It's a very well made watch. I'll be producing the video for this one over the course of this week at 59 bucks on special, three different colors. If you're a bigger guy or like a bigger watch, this is the one for you. Okay, getting towards the end of the list now, and one that isn't on special, but one that's so odd, I've been eyeing this up, I'm probably gonna pick this one up later on this year. It's a watch by Yilang, not a brand that I have encountered, but I think it's a handsome looking thing. Now, $221, I appreciate is not necessarily a drop in the ocean, but it's got sapphire crystal, a screw down crown, 100 meters of water resistance, a Seiko NH35, and tritium T. 100 tubes. You know I love my loom. I've looked at a couple of Tritium watches so far on the channel and I can see the appeal of this one in no uncertain terms. The only fly in the ointment that I can see from the photos anyway that looks like a nice H-link high polished and brushed mixture bracelet is the clasp. That's a press clasp, but hey, it's easy enough to swap out one of those for about five or six dollars. Like I said, with the L'Oreal, three different colorways, you can get a black dial, a blue dial, there's a PVD version, and there's a bunch of different choices with the tritium loom as well. You don't just have to pick one, 100 meters water resistance, as I said. This one I do find intriguing. It was a subscriber that tipped me onto this. I'm definitely gonna pick it up towards the end of the year. If one of you grabs it first, let me know how you get on with it. It. Yeah, so there's the press clasp, pretty inauspicious there, but a bunch of different versions of the loom. You can get the black dial with blue or green loom, you can get the PVD even with yellow and blue loom. That one I think looks pretty tasty. 220 bucks on my list for 2019. And last but not least, it's the L'Oreal Yacht Tona, another watch that I picked up in the last AliExpress sale and I'm still getting around to reviewing. All of the good elements of the other L'Oreal, but with that triple calendar. It's not actually a chronograph. It looks like a chronograph. Screw down crowns, 200 meters of water resistant, but it's actually a triple calendar. So you have the, the month of the year there at the three o'clock, 12, 24 hour indicator. It's got a date down there at 4.30 and the day of the week. Again, it's a seagull automatic movement in the back of this one. That's it on the time grapher, running remarkably accurately for a watch that costs $62.39. Again, I'll try and get the review up at some point this week. Now, I opted for this one, kind of pale blue, slightly brown tones on those dials. Maybe that wasn't the most sensible choice. The black and white, 
the blue or maybe even the all black are probably the more conservative ones. Now it suggests high polished mid-links as you can see from mine there, it is all brushed. Again, the clasp on these ones is just pressed. I'm not gonna complain too hard for $62 and change. So there you have it, another top 10 crazy watch deals on AliExpress for the sales. The prices just keep getting cheaper and cheaper. I'm really looking forward to receiving the two that I just bought today. That big manual wine flieger I think will be something I don't have in the collection. And a Rolex Daytona homage with sapphire, ceramic and a mecha quartz for under 70 US dollars, I'm really quite excited to see if that one looks as good in reality as it looks on paper and in those photos. I'll see you in the review of that one, if not before.